not to be confused with warm and cool colors. The color temperature of a light source is the temperature of an ideal black body radiator that radiates light of a color comparable to that of the light source. Color temperature is a characteristic of visible light that has important applications in lighting, photography, videography, publishing, manufacturing, astrophysics, horticulture, and other fields. In practice, color temperature is meaningful only for light sources that do in fact correspond somewhat closely to the radiation of some black body, i.e., light in a range going from red to orange to yellow to white to bluish white. It does not make sense to speak of the color temperature of, e.g., a green or a purple light. Color temperature is conventionally expressed in kelvins, using the symbol K, a unit of measure for absolute temperature. Color temperatures over 5000 K are called cool colors bluish while lower color temperatures 3000 K are called warm colors yellowish warm in this context is an analogy to radiated heat flux of traditional incandescent lighting rather than temperature the spectral peak of warm colored light is closer to infrared and most natural warm colored light sources emit significant infrared radiation the fact that warm lighting in this sense actually has a cooler color temperature often leads to confusion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Categorizing different lighting. The color temperature of the electromagnetic radiation emitted from an ideal black body is defined as its surface temperature in kelvins, or alternatively in micro-reciprocal degrees This permits the definition of a standard by which light sources are compared. To the extent that a hot surface emits thermal radiation but is not an ideal black body radiator, the color temperature of the light is not the actual temperature of the surface. An incandescent lamp's light is thermal radiation, and the bulb approximates an ideal black body radiator, so its color temperature is essentially the temperature of the filament. Thus a relatively low temperature emits a dull red and a high temperature emits the almost white of the traditional incandescent light bulb. Metal workers are able to judge the temperature of hot metals by their color, from dark red to orange white and then white see red heat. Many other light sources, such as fluorescent lamps, or LEDs light -emitting diodes, emit light primarily by processes other than thermal radiation. This means that the emitted radiation does not follow the form of a black body spectrum. These sources are assigned what is known as a correlated color temperature circuit. Circuit is the color temperature of a black body radiator which to human color perception most closely matches the light from the lamp. Because such an approximation is not required for incandescent light, the circuit for an incandescent light is simply its unadjusted temperature, derived from comparison to a black body radiator. The Sun The Sun closely approximates a black body radiator. The effective temperature, defined by the total radiative power per square unit, is about 5780 K. The color temperature of sunlight above the atmosphere is about 5900 K. As the sun crosses the sky, it may appear to be red, orange, yellow or white, depending on its position. The changing color of the sun over the course of the day is mainly a result of the scattering of light and is not due to changes in black body radiation. The blue color of the sky is caused by Rayleigh scattering of the sunlight by the atmosphere, which tends to scatter blue light more than red light. Some early morning and evening light golden hours has a lower color temperature due to increased low wavelength light scattering by the Tyndall effect. Daylight has a spectrum similar to that of a black body with a correlated color temperature of 6500K D65 viewing standard or 5500K daylight balanced photographic film standard. For colors based on black body theory, blue occurs at higher temperatures whereas red occurs at lower temperatures. This is the opposite of the cultural associations attributed to colors in which red is hot and Blue is cold. Topic Applications
Topic: <laughs> Lighting. For lighting building interiors, it is often important to take into account the color temperature of illumination. A warmer i.e. a lower color temperature light is often used in public areas to promote relaxation, while a cooler higher color temperature light is used to enhance concentration. For example, in schools and offices, circuit dimming for LED technology is regarded as a difficult task since binning, age and temperature drift effects of LEDs change the actual color value output. Here feedback loop systems are used, for example with color sensors, to actively monitor and control the color output of multiple color mixing LEDs. Aquaculture In fishkeeping, color temperature has different functions and foci in the various branches. In freshwater aquaria, color temperature is generally of concern only for producing a more attractive display. Lights tend to be designed to produce an attractive spectrum, sometimes with secondary attention paid to keeping the plants in the aquaria alive. In a saltwater, reef aquarium, color temperature is an essential part of tank health. Within about 400 to 3000 nanometers, light of shorter wavelength can penetrate deeper into water than longer wavelengths, providing essential energy sources to the algae hosted in and sustaining coral. This is equivalent to an increase of color temperature with water depth in this spectral range. Because coral typically live in shallow water and receive intense, direct tropical sunlight, the focus was once on simulating this situation with 6500 K lights. In the meantime higher temperature light sources have become more popular, first with 10,000 K and more recently 16,000 K and 20,000 K actinic lighting at the violet end of the visible range 420 to 460 nanometers is used to allow night viewing without increasing algae bloom or enhancing photosynthesis, and to make the somewhat fluorescent colors of many corals and fish pop, creating brighter display tanks. Topic. Digital photography In digital photography, the term color temperature sometimes refers to remapping of color values to simulate variations in ambient color temperature. Most digital cameras and raw image software provide presets simulating specific ambient values e.g., sunny, cloudy, tungsten, etc., while others allow explicit entry of white balance values in kelvins. These settings vary color values along the blue-yellow axis, while some software includes additional controls sometimes labeled tint, adding the magenta green axis, and are to some extent arbitrary and a matter of artistic interpretation. Use of absolute color temperature values are unlikely to be popular with amateur digital photographers, but at the standard method of white balancing for professionals. However the general idea of high K blue -white, and low K red -orange, will inform all who seek to experiment with their own hardware and software. Photographic film Photographic emulsion film does not respond to lighting color identically to the human retina or visual perception. An object that appears to the observer to be white may turn out to be very blue or orange in a photograph. The color balance may need to be corrected during printing to achieve a neutral color print. The extent of this correction is limited since color film normally has three layers sensitive to different colors and when used under the wrong light source, every layer may not respond proportionally, giving odd color casts in the shadows, although the mid tones may have been correctly white balanced under the enlarger. Light sources with discontinuous spectra, such as fluorescent tubes, cannot be fully corrected in printing either, since one of the layers may barely have recorded an image at all. Photographic film is made for specific light sources most commonly daylight film and tungsten film, and, used properly, will create a neutral color print. Matching the sensitivity of the film to the color temperature of the light source is one way to balance color. If tungsten film is used indoors with incandescent lamps, the yellowish-orange light of the tungsten incandescent lamps will appear as white in the photograph. Color negative film is almost always daylight balanced, since it is assumed that color can be adjusted in printing with limitations, see above. 
Color transparency film, being the final artifact in the process, has to be matched to the light source or filters must be used to correct color. Filters on a camera lens, or color gels over the light sources may be used to correct color balance. When shooting with a bluish light high color temperature source such as on an overcast day, in the shade, in window light, or if using tungsten film with white or blue light, a yellowish-orange filter will correct this. For shooting with daylight film calibrated to 5600K under warmer low color temperature light sources such as sunsets, candlelight or tungsten lighting, a bluish e.g. number 80A filter may be used. More subtle filters are needed to correct for the difference between, say 3200K and 3400K tungsten lamps or to correct for the slightly blue cast of some flash tubes, which may be 6000K. If there is more than one light source with varied color temperatures, one way to balance the color is to use daylight film and place color correcting gel filters over each light source. Photographers sometimes use color temperature meters. These are usually designed to read only two regions along the visible spectrum red and blue, more expensive ones read three regions red, green, and blue. However, they are ineffective with sources such as fluorescent or discharge lamps, whose light varies in color and may be harder to correct for. Because this light is often greenish, a magenta filter may correct it. More sophisticated colorimetry tools can be used if such meters are lacking. Topic. Desktop publishing In the desktop publishing industry, it is important to know a monitor's color temperature. Color matching software, such as Apple's ColorSync for Mac OS, measures a monitor's color temperature and then adjusts its settings accordingly. This enables on-screen color to more closely match printed color. Common monitor color temperatures, along with matching standard illuminance in parentheses, are as follows. 5000K D50 5500K D55 6500K D65 7500K D75 9300K D50 is scientific shorthand for a standard illuminant. The daylight spectrum at a correlated color temperature of 5000K similar definitions exist for D55, D65 and D75. Designations such as D50 are used to help classify color temperatures of light tables and viewing booths. When viewing a color slide at a light table, it is important that the light be balanced properly so that the colors are not shifted towards the red or blue. Digital cameras, web graphics, DVDs, etc., are normally designed for a 6500K color temperature. The sRGB standard commonly used for images on the Internet stipulates among other things, a 6500K display white point. <laughs> TV, video, and digital still cameras The NTSC and PAL TV norms call for a compliant TV screen to display an electrically black and white signal minimal color saturation at a color temperature of 6500K on many consumer grade televisions. There is a very noticeable deviation from this requirement. However, higher end consumer grade televisions can have their color temperatures adjusted to 6500K by using a pre programmed setting or a custom calibration. Current versions of ATSC explicitly call for the color temperature data to be included in the data stream, but old versions of ATSC allowed this data to be omitted. In this case, current versions of ATSC cite default colorimetry standards depending on the format. Both of the cited standards specify a 6500K color temperature. Most video and digital still cameras can adjust for color temperature by zooming into a white or neutral colored object and setting the manual white balance, telling the camera that this object is white. The camera then shows true white as white and adjusts all the other colors accordingly. White balancing is necessary especially when indoors under fluorescent lighting and when moving the camera from one lighting situation to another. Most cameras also have an automatic white balance function that attempts to determine the color of the light and correct accordingly. 
While these settings were once unreliable, they are much improved in today's digital cameras and produce an accurate white balance in a wide variety of lighting situations. Topic: <laughs> Artistic application via control of color temperature. Video camera operators can white balance objects that are not white, downplaying the color of the object used for white balancing. For instance, they can bring more warmth into a picture by white balancing off something that is light blue, such as faded blue denim. In this way, white balancing can replace a filter or lighting gel when those are not available. Cinematographers do not white balance in the same way as video camera operators. They use techniques such as filters, choice of film stock, pre-flashing, and after shooting color grading, both by exposure at the labs and also digitally. Cinematographers also work closely with set designers and lighting crews to achieve the desired color effects. For artists, most pigments and papers have a cool or warm cast, as the human eye can detect even a minute amount of saturation. Gray mixed with yellow, orange, or red is a warm gray. Green, blue, or purple create cool grays. Note that this sense of temperature is the reverse of that of real temperature. Bluer is described as cooler even though it corresponds to a higher temperature black body. Lighting designers sometimes select filters by color temperature, commonly to match light that is theoretically white. Since fixtures using discharge type lamps produce a light of a considerably higher color temperature than do tungsten lamps, using the two in conjunction could potentially produce a stark contrast, so sometimes fixtures with hid lamps, commonly producing light of 6000 K, are fitted with 3200 K filters to emulate tungsten light. Fixtures with color mixing features or with multiple colors, if including 3200K, are also capable of producing tungsten like light. Color temperature may also be a factor when selecting lamps, since each is likely to have a different color temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Correlated color temperature The correlated color temperature circuit, TCP, is the temperature of the Planckian radiator whose perceived color most closely resembles that of a given stimulus at the same brightness and under specified viewing conditions. Motivation Black body radiators are the reference by which the whiteness of light sources is judged. A black body can be described by its color temperature, whose hues are depicted above. By analogy, nearly Planckian light sources such as certain fluorescent or high-intensity discharge lamps can be judged by their correlated color temperature circuit, the color temperature of the Planckian radiator that best approximates them. For light source spectra that are not Planckian, color temperature is not a well defined attribute. The concept of correlated color temperature was developed to map such sources as well as possible onto the one dimensional scale of color temperature, where, as well as possible, is defined in the context of an objective color space. <laughs> <laughs> Background The notion of using Planckian radiators as a yardstick against which to judge other light sources is not new. In 1923, writing about grading of illuminance with reference to quality of color, the temperature of the source is an index of the quality of color. Priest essentially described circuit as we understand it today, going so far as to use the term apparent color temperature and astutely recognized three cases those for which the spectral distribution of energy is identical with that given by the Planckian formula those for which the spectral distribution of energy is not identical with that given by the Planckian formula, but still is of such a form that the quality of the color evoked is the same as would be evoked by the energy from a Planckian radiator at the given color temperature those for which the spectral distribution of energy is such that the color can be matched only approximately by a stimulus of the Planckian form of spectral distribution." Several important developments occurred in 1931. In chronological order, 
Raymond Davis published a paper on correlated color temperature, his term. Referring to the Planckian locus on the RG diagram, he defined the circuit as the average of the primary component temperatures, RGBCCTs, using trilinear coordinates. The CIE announced the XYZ color space. Dean B. Judd published a paper on the nature of least perceptible differences with respect to chromatic stimuli. By empirical means he determined that the difference in sensation, which he termed delta E for a discriminatory step between colors, Empfindung, German for sensation, was proportional to the distance of the colors on the chromaticity diagram. Referring to the R G chromaticity diagram depicted aside, he hypothesized that delta E. Topic C one minus C two. Max, R1 minus R2, G1 minus G2, these developments paved the way for the development of new chromaticity spaces that are more suited to estimating correlated color temperatures and chromaticity differences. Bridging the concepts of color difference and color temperature, Priest made the observation that the eye is sensitive to constant differences in reciprocal temperature. A difference of one micro reciprocal degree mu road is fairly representative of the doubtfully perceptible difference under the most favorable conditions of observation. Priest proposed to use the scale of temperature as a scale for arranging the chromaticities of the several illuminants in a serial order. Over the next few years, Judd published three more significant papers. The first verified the findings of Priest, Davis, and Judd, with a paper on sensitivity to change in color temperature. The second proposed a new chromaticity space, guided by a principle that has become the holy grail of color spaces perceptual uniformity. Chromaticity distance should be commensurate with perceptual difference. By means of a projective transformation, Judd found a more uniform chromaticity space UCS, in which to find the circuit. Judd determined the «nearest color temperature» by simply finding the point on the Planckian locus nearest to the chromaticity of the stimulus on Maxwell's color triangle, depicted aside. The transformation matrix he used to convert x, y, z tristimulus values to r, g, b coordinates was r g b equals 3.1956 Two point four four seven eight minus zero point one four three four minus two point five four five five seven point zero four nine two zero point nine nine six three zero point zero 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 point zero 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 one O O O O X Y Z Display style begin B matrix R G B end B matrix equals begin B matrix three point one nine five six and two point four four seven eight and minus zero point one four three four minus two point five four five five and seven point zero four nine two and zero point nine nine six three zero point zero 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 and zero point zero 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 and one point zero 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 end B matrix begin B matrix X Y Z end B matrix, from this, one can find these chromaticities, U equals 0.4661x plus 0.1593yy minus 0.1573x plus 0.2424, V equals 0.6581yy minus 0.1573x plus 0.2424. Display style u equals frac 0.4661x plus 0.1593y y 0 1573x plus 0.2424 quad v equals frac 0.6581y y 0 1573x plus 0.2424. The third depicted the locus of the isothermal chromaticities on the CIE 1931x y chromaticity diagram. Since the isothermal points formed normals on his UCS diagram, transformation back into the XY plane revealed them still to be lines, but no longer perpendicular to the locus. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <coughs> Calculation. Judd's idea of determining the nearest point to the Planckian locus on a uniform chromaticity space is current. In 1937, McAdam suggested a modified uniform chromaticity scale diagram based on certain simplifying geometrical considerations. U equals 4 x minus 2 x plus 12 y plus 3 v equals 6 y minus 2 x plus 12 y plus 3 Display style u equals frac 4x 2x plus 12y plus 3 quad v equals frac 6y 2x plus 12y plus 3. This u v chromaticity space became the CIE 1960 color space, which is still used to calculate the circuit, even though McAdam did not devise it with this purpose in mind. Using other chromaticity spaces, such as UF, leads to non-standard results that may nevertheless be perceptually meaningful. The distance from the locus i.e., degree of departure from a black body is traditionally indicated in units of delta u v display style delta u v positive for points above the locus. This concept of distance has evolved to become delta e, which continues to be used today. Topic: <laughs> Robertson's method. Before the advent of powerful personal computers, it was common to estimate the correlated color temperature by way of interpolation from lookup tables and charts. The most famous such method is Robertson's, who took advantage of the relatively even spacing of the Myard scale see above to calculate the circuit TC using linear interpolation of the isotherms Myard values 1 T C equals 1 T I plus theta one theta one plus theta two one T I plus one minus one T I Display style frac one T underscore C equals frac one T underscore I plus frac theta underscore one theta underscore one plus theta underscore two left frac one T underscore I plus one frac one T underscore I rig H T where T I display style T underscore I and T I plus one display style T underscore I plus one are the color temperatures of the lookup isotherms and I is chosen such that T I T C T I plus one display style T underscore I. Furthermore, the test chromaticity lies between the only two adjacent lines for which D I D I plus one O display style D underscore I D underscore I plus one. If the isotherms are tight enough, one can assume theta one theta two approximately equals sin theta one sin theta two display style theta underscore one theta underscore two approx sin theta underscore one sin theta underscore two leading to 1 t c equals 1 t i plus d i d i minus d i plus 1 1 t plus 1 minus 1 T I 
Display style frac one T underscore C equals frac one T underscore I plus frac D underscore I D underscore I D underscore I plus one left frac one T underscore I plus one frac one T underscore I right the distance of the test point to the ith isotherm is given by d i equals v t minus v i minus m i u t minus u i 1 plus M I two Display style D underscore I equals frac V underscore T V underscore I M underscore I U underscore T U underscore I S Q R T one plus M underscore I carrot two where U I V I Display style U underscore I V underscore I is the chromaticity coordinate of the ith isotherm on the Planckian locus and me is the isotherm's slope. Since it is perpendicular to the locus, it follows that m i equals minus 1 l i display style m underscore i equals minus 1 l underscore i where li is the slope of the locus at u I V I display style u underscore I V underscore I topic precautions. Although the circuit can be calculated for any chromaticity coordinate, the result is meaningful only if the light sources are nearly white. The CIE recommends that the concept of correlated color temperature should not be used if the chromaticity of the test source differs more than delta U V equals five times ten minus two. Display style script style delta underscore U V equals five times ten carat minus two. From the Planckian radiator, beyond a certain value of delta u v, display style script style delta u v, a chromaticity coordinate may be equidistant to two points on the locus, causing ambiguity in the circuit. Topic <laughs> approximation. If a narrow range of color temperatures is considered, those encapsulating daylight being the most practical case, one can approximate the Planckian locus in order to calculate the circuit in terms of chromaticity coordinates. Following Kelly's observation that the isotherms intersect in the purple region near x. Topic 0.325 y 0.154 McCamey proposed this cubic approximation C C T X Y equals minus 449 N 3 plus 3525 N 2 minus 6823.3 n plus 5520.33 display style circuit x y equals 449 n caret 3 plus 3525 n caret 2 minus 6823.3 n plus 5520 33 where n Topic x minus x e y ye is the inverse slope line and x e zero point three three two zero ye equals zero point one eight five eight is the epicenter.
quite close to the intersection point mentioned by Kelly. The maximum absolute error for color temperatures ranging from 2856K illuminant A to 6504K D65 is under 2K. A more recent proposal, using exponential terms, considerably extends the applicable range by adding a second epicenter for high color temperatures. C C T X Y equals a 0 plus a 1 exp minus n t 1 plus a 2 exp minus n t 2 plus Three EXP minus N T three Display style circuit x y equals a underscore zero plus a underscore one exp n t underscore one plus a underscore two exp n t underscore two plus a underscore three exp n t underscore three Where N is as before and the other constants are defined below the inverse calculation, from color temperature to corresponding chromaticity coordinates, is discussed in Planckian locus. <laughs> <laughs> color rendering index The CIE color rendering index is a method to determine how well a light source's illumination of eight sample patches compares to the illumination provided by a reference source. Cited together, the Cree and circuit give a numerical estimate of what reference ideal light source best approximates a particular artificial light, and what the difference is. <laughs> <laughs> Spectral power distribution Light sources and illuminants may be characterized by their spectral power distribution SPD. The relative SPD curves provided by many manufacturers may have been produced using 10 nm increments or more on their spectroradiometer. The result is what would seem to be a smoother, fuller spectrum power distribution than the lamp actually has. Owing to their spiky distribution, much finer increments are advisable for taking measurements of fluorescent lights, and this requires more expensive equipment. Topic. Color temperature in astronomy In astronomy, the color temperature is defined by the local slope of the SPD at a given wavelength, or, in practice, a wavelength range. Given, for example, the color magnitudes B and V which are calibrated to be equal for an AOV star e Vega, the stellar color temperature T C Display style T underscore C is given by the temperature for which the color index B minus V display style BV of a black body radiator fits the stellar one. Besides the B minus V display style BV, other color indices can be used as well. The color temperature as well as the correlated color temperature defined above may differ largely from the effective temperature given by the radiative flux of the stellar surface. For example, the color temperature of an AOV star is about 15000 K compared to an effective temperature of about 9500 K. Topic: See also Brightness temperature Effective temperature Kruthoff curve Luminous efficacy Color metamerism Overillumination Whiteness <laughs>